Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We have another great technique that was discovered by my friend Alessandro Boncio, and we're gonna do some really cool fracturing of this bridge. This bridge object is part of our streets collection if you want some streets and roads and bridge elements. All right, so we're gonna fracture this, but we're gonna do it in a bit of a unique way using a vertex map. So let's take this cube and we'll add some more segments. So we have a little more subdivision and let's hit C to make it editable. And we're gonna make a vertex map. So make sure you're in point mode here and select all your points. Let's go to select and at the bottom is set vertex weight. Let's change the weight to 0% and then hit enter. And we're gonna do the exact same thing again. So go to select and set vertex weight and this time we're gonna make it 100%. So make that 100% and hit enter. And now we have our vertex tag right here. All right, we're gonna use the fields options to set up a animated vertex map. So let's go to the basic tab and click use fields. And let's go back to the fields tab and you'll see that we have a freeze item in here. Now we found that the default freeze tends to be a little buggy for some reason. So just delete that and re-add it in. It's under this clamp. If you hold it down, there is a freeze right here. All right, so we have our freeze on our vertex map and we're gonna change it from normal to add. And under the options under layer, let's change the mode to grow so that we have this growing on. And then really importantly, hit clear to reset it. All right, so we have this growing on effect, but we have to specify a noise which is gonna grow on. So click and hold on the linear field and let's add a shader field. We'll drag it underneath the freeze and let's add some noise to here. So twirl down the shader and click noise. And let's make this a bit contrasty by going into it and let's go to the low clip and bring that up a bit and the high clip and bring that down so we have more of a contrasty image here. And we can probably make this global scale 200%. All right, so there is our noise and we're gonna want this to grow on. So if we hit play right now, it's not really growing on the way we want to because we wanna trigger on with a spherical field. So let's go back to our vertex tag and under fields, let's add a spherical field. And we'll drag that to the bottom and you can see that if we move it we have the reverse effect of what we want so we'll go back to that shader field and change it from max to subtract and now when we move that spherical field you can see that wherever it is it's going to be growing on that noise animation all right so now all we have to do is position it in the beginning and hit play and we'll see what the animation looks like and we'll get something like this all right, so maybe we can make this spherical field a little bit smaller and put it over here let's see what that looks like and we are getting a growing on effect, but it's pretty slow, which I think has something to do with uh, this noise here. So maybe we'll play around with these clip settings a bit more. All right, so that's looking really cool. All right, so we have this growing on effect and it looks really organic and nice. And we're gonna drive a fracture object through here so that this bridge kind of gets destroyed based on where the yellow parts of the vertex map are. And we're gonna do that by adding a Voronoi fracture. So we'll start with the Voronoi. We'll take the cube and put it inside of there. And let's turn the bridge off just so we don't see it. And if we hit play, nothing's gonna happen because this is not dynamic yet. So we'll right click on the fracture, go to simulation tags, rigid body. And we don't want this just to fall down and crash. We actually want this to be triggered by an animation. So we'll go to the dynamics tab and under the trigger, we'll do uh, at velocity peak. So that once it gets moved by the vertex map, once it hits the velocity peak, then it'll turn dynamic and fall down and bounce. So that means it's not gonna do a thing right now because we haven't triggered it yet. Before we do that, let's go into the Voronoi Fracture and go to the point generator and let's add a bunch more points to the point amount, well, maybe 500. And let's also change the distribution from uniform to exponential. And that way we'll have more pieces on one side and as you get further along, the pieces will get bigger. So it's a little bit more realistic, but let's turn the X axis off and the Z axis will hit the little minus there. So we have little chunks right here where the animation starts and then they get bigger as we go. All right, so this will be kind of our base setup, uh, but we need to use this vertex animation to drive this fracture. And we're gonna do that using a plane. So let's type in a plane effector and we don't want it to affect the position. So we'll go to the parameters and turn off position, but we do want it to just slightly affect the rotation. So we can do like 0.1, just to give it a little bit of offset rotation. All right, so here is where we link up this tag with the fields. 
And the cool thing about fields is you can actually just drag a vertex map right into it. And now the vertex map will be driving that plane effector, which is gonna be triggering the Voronoi fracture. So we'll hit play and see what happens. So you can see that it's falling down, but this is only being destructed where that yellow vertex map is hitting it. And wherever it's red, these pieces are kind of hanging on. And what you get because of that is a really organic fracture that looks more like an earthquake or something kind of random. And from here, you get the basic setup. You could go into the Voronoi fracture and you can add a bunch more points so it's more realistic. And you could even go into the connectors tab and uh, create some connectors in between all these pieces. And that'll make it look a lot more realistic as well, although it will slow things down quite a bit. But that is the general concept. And that is creating a vertex map to drive a fracture animation. I hope you all enjoyed that and learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.